Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, I hope that you are having just an amazing day. And hey, look, today is day two of the Foundations of Real Estate training course I'm providing for you guys and really taking you through every single step in order to be a very, very successful agent in 2021 and well beyond that. And so guys, if you could do a huge favor, because I don't charge tuition for these courses, take two seconds, like, subscribe, and comment, and leave me some friendly reminders of why you love me so much, and I would really appreciate that. It make me feel good too. So. Um, on with the course. Today is going to be very, very uh, brief. I've had a hell of a lot of caffeine and so I'm very fired up and so this will be very quick, uh, I promise. Look, I need you to think about your real estate business in terms of two different pipelines, two different subsets of customers. You're going to have buyers and you're going to have sellers and you're like, yeah, no kidding, I understand that. But understand that the activities to procure leads for sellers and procure leads for buyers are substantially different. They're completely different exercises. And so when you're looking for buyers, when you talk about demographic niches, when we're looking for sellers, we're going to be talking about geographic niches. So let's get into geographic niches for two seconds. Um, when you guys are thinking about this, I need you to think in terms of a laser. Why does a laser work? And the answer is, it's not a lot of energy. It really isn't a lot of energy, but it is very, very narrow and very, very focused. So what happens if you take a laser and you put it on a piece of wood? It will actually burn a hole all the way through that piece of wood. But what happens if you diffuse or diffract that laser? It literally does nothing. And so think about your marketing in terms of a laser. You know, are you targeted? Are you hyper-targeted in on a very, very small geographic niche? And so what we're gonna be taking you through on the very next video is how to actually get listings. You know, but what I need you to do first is come up with a geographic niche. And so I want you to think in terms of maybe about a thousand units. And why I pick a thousand units is because it's usually diverse enough, you have a large enough pool that there's a little bit of turnover in there. And so understanding what turnover issues are, how fast you know units are actually turning over, meaning you know if you have a pool of a thousand, how many out of those thousand inside a year go up for sale and actually get sold? And so, in in terms of marketing dollars, you know that might be a concern too. If your budget is small, you need to consider that it's about a dollar per month per unit in your geographic niche. And so, if your marketing budget is only you know 250 bucks a month for sellers, then maybe hyper focus get down to about 250 units. And that could be a small condominium complex. That could be a very small subdivision. It depends on what area you live in. If you're a little bit more rural, maybe it's actually a zip code, whatever it is. So you know, really think in terms of your marketing budget and, and just size that accordingly. And then I'm going to show you how to pull the data. And we're going to be starting to do YouTube videos. We're going to do you know Instagram videos. We're going to be doing Facebook videos. We're going to creating Facebook groups. We're going to be targeting hyper targeting your audience using what's called a custom audience inside of that Facebook network, inside of that Instagram network to really get your message and your brand out there. That is very, very important. That's the only way you're gonna be able to do this. And if you know, you're trying to do open houses in six different parts of the county, well guess what, nobody's gonna remember your name. But if you do an open house the same time, the same you know, day and every single week inside a community, they're gonna recognize your logo, they're gonna recognize your brand, they're gonna say, hey look, you know, Carl Freund owns this area, that's his area, you know, I'm gonna call him next time I'm looking to sell or at least reach out to you so your brain is well known. Hey look, now we're talking about buyers for two seconds. Buyers, you need to think about demographic niches. Now a demographic niche could be very different. It could be first time home buyers, it could be VA buyers, it could be relocations, it could be investors. Inside of investors, it could be one of like three subsets. It could be buy and hold investors. It could be fix and flip investors or maybe investors that want to go into the Airbnb or VRBO model, the short term rental model. Understanding all the uh, assets in, in the characteristics of each subset of that niche. That's very, very, very important. And so you know, when you're thinking about buyers, think about what you're passionate about doing. If you were in the military, maybe you want to work with VA buyers. If you know, you're, you're passionate like I am about helping people grow their wealth, maybe work with first time home buyers. And so you know, when you're talking about first time home buyers, understand that you might need to work with a lender. Hey, you know, what down payment programs are available? How much you know, down payment do you actually need? You know, do you need to put anything down? We have here in Arizona, Three dollar down down payment assistance program. You know, in some other states, I know it's zero down. You know, VA is zero down, but they have a funding fee. What does that look like? What does FHA look like? What does VA look like? What does conventional look like? What kind of credit scores do you need? You know, can you buy something in, that needs rehab using an FHA 203k loan? You should know these things. How to build equity? How to build wealth? How to put people in a strategic position to actually do very very well in real estate and looking you know to the future, building maybe a real estate portfolio. So find a niche in this description, guys, um, and if you haven't liked and subscribed, in the description here on YouTube, go ahead and um, I've got a list of the demographic niches that we're really focusing on. I've got about six or seven of those. 
And if you guys have any questions, do that. So homework for today in the comment section, dang it, I want you to put your geographic niche and I want you to put your demographic niche in the comment section. I'm gonna hold you accountable because I think this industry lacks a lot of accountability and direction. So there's the direction, there's accountability. Go out there and kick some ass today. Hey, look, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. And uh, of course, always have a prosperous day and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks, take care, see ya.